Hey, hey, it's your health and wellness coach Marisha here from Body Fitness checking in. How are you doing this lovely evening? I am super well. Today's video is not about juice, although I'm sipping. Um, that combo is going up on my, it'll be up on my, up on my page by the time this video is up. Um, hello and good day. I want to talk to you about you and how you talk to yourself. Um, do you know that you spend the most time with you all day, right? You spend the most time hearing yourself. And even when you talk, you're hearing yourself talk twice, right? If you don't know, now you know. Jigga, jigga. <laughs> My Brooklyn people or Biggie fans would know that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I wanted to talk to you about you talking to yourself nice. Talk to yourself nice. And I mean that in all spectrums. Again, because every time I talk or I'm delivering a video, I am speaking about multidimensional healing, so please remember that, and I will continuously repeat that. Okay, so, when you talk to yourself, usually, you cut, you know, people be cussing themselves out. I'm never going to say usually, but on a regular, a lot of people cuss themselves out, and I'm not talking about actually just cut curse words, cuss words, and talking about like, oh, damn, like, I can't do this. Oh, man, my back is hurting. Oh, man, my knees, the way my knees is set up, the way my arthritis, that ain't even a real word now. Um, it's like I gotta put my, play, my phone on airplane mode. Um, but Talking to yourself nicely. Um, like if you forget something, right? Oh, man, I got to go back in this house and go get this shit. Like, that kind of demeanor, you're talking so harsh to yourself. And for what? What's going to change besides you actually having to walk back and go get it? Right? Yeah, I know. Sometimes we can have moments where we're rushing and we, you know. But even then, just be like, you know what? Pfft. Take a breather. Don't talk harsh to yourself. Um, same thing about working out. Or when you say you can't do something, you see somebody else doing it. Oh, girl, I can't do that. Mm -mm. Or I can't afford that. Why are you talking like that? It's so common that people will look over and be like, oh, girl, I'm just talking to talk. Mm. But your body and your mind, your soul, your spirit, they don't know the difference between you joking and you just popping off at the mouth. Which is why people are like, oh, my back is killing me. Um, okay, well, that will be the thing that will probably take you out. Or your kidneys will give you prob problems. Um, but it's all about being mindful and this is not to shun anybody, you know, how they're, how they're talking now. But it's for you to be alert all the time with what you're saying. Like, the first tone that you hear is how your parents talk. So, in my house growing up, it was, you know, that joke. If Johnny had two apples, then how many apples... Whatever, you know, that whole combination. If he ate one, how many does he have left type thing? It was that rah, 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 rah energy. But my parents came from that space as well. And I picked up on that because a family member's husband told her that. My, my sister's husband. And um, a boyfriend of mine. Um, mentioned that and these guys never met and they was just like yo why you talk so harsh to your parents and I'm like what are you talking about but because that's normal com conversational 
the tone for them. They didn't even see it as disrespect. So, but outside people was just like, what? You talking to your um? You talking to your pops like that? So then my sister and I, we had a powwow. I was like, yo, he said that to you? I was like, yo, he said that to me too. Even being mindful of your tone, your delivery, um, which is what I'm talking about, what, what I'm learning to um, be mindful of on this juicing journey um, with everybody. Again, with yourself. Talking harsh to yourself. What you do to yourself is what you do to other people, which is why we are like the movie projectors. And I could do a whole nother video on that. And I am. Um, which is why the bullying comes out. How people talk crazy because they talk to themselves like that. And you got to be like, you know, because you want to be quick, knuck if you buck. And I get it. But then it also shows where you need to work on, where you fall short at. Um, but talking to yourself nicely will get you further ahead. Like even with the popping of the, you know how people be slapping their hands or they slap their thighs sometimes like, Oh gosh, right? Like you get on my nerve, you make me sick. Like even saying that, why are you giving people so much power? Now when I catch myself slapping my leg or my whatever I'm doing, popping my hands, whatever, I tend to apologize to my body parts. I'm like, you know what? You were here supporting me, literally. And, um, that ain't cool. So, thank you. I appreciate you. And, you know, I'm learning to unlearn these behaviors. And that's literally how it starts. And it's funny at first because people are like, oh my God, you crazy for talking to you. But, you see, we're not used to showing love to each other. We're not used to receiving it. And that demeanor is just like, oh. You know, hey, I love you, love you, love you. Some people say love you, love you. Put the I in front of it. See how fast you say it then? I love you. Be intentional and say who the love is coming from. Um, even as far as saying, oh, I can't stand being at this job. I can't I hate this place. It makes me sick. Like, why are you giving all of these things outside of you so much power? And I'm like, I tell people all the time, you got to be mindful of when you deliver these words because you are cursing yourself. I hate is just as strong as saying I love. So you are exerting a lot of energy to this thing. And the more you focus on something, the more it's going to be around, the more it's going to pop up around. I find the same thing with people who are crazy drivers because I grew up around crazy drivers. Road rage, New York City. I mean, even people outside of New York City, but we know New Yorkers is crazy. Um... And I just watched the impatience. But the all of that energy is coming out on who? You. You 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 hating this person who is not gonna know who you are in the next five, ten minutes. They're probably gonna cuss you out. Like, yo, this dumb idiot driving, da da da. They ain't gonna know how you look. They're gonna remember you maybe you was a woman or a man, and that's about it. And maybe could tell a story again, but they ain't gonna be able to tell the details about anything else. But here you are talking about this person in the most derogatory tone, and it's setting a tone on your body. You're hurting and harming yourself further when you speak negative. This is the point of this video. And this is not to say that I'm not there, because I just said the whole slap of the leg. Sometimes I'll be like, <sighs> but even that, that flight or fight mode, your body don't know. That you just, you know, is a mere small thing. Your body does not know that. It's going to be, it's going to go into stress mode. It's going to be like, well, something bother her. Oh, no, it's her mother. Oh, no, it's her sister. No, they don't, it doesn't know the difference. It knows how deep the emotion will run when something is triggering you. But again, that's something that you have to address with yourself and, uh, um, hmm, yeah, that's, that's basically it, um, be mindful of your mouth, how you talk, what you curse yourself with, what you cursing other people with, because what you put out will come back to you, um, what'd she say, let me see,
Anyway, it's going to come back to you. I was trying to think of a song. Um, can't get the words right now. But, um, well, all of the words. Be mindful of your can'ts. Be mindful of all the negative things you say. And even if you do say it still, reject it. Because if you've been watching me, there are certain things that I... <clears throat> hair is so curly. <clears throat> Beautiful. Like, if you see my hair, like, sitting up like this. Hey. But, um, you'll see, I say, oh, I retract that. And that's showing your most high that you are being attentive. You are being in intentional with what you are putting out because now you are sowing those seeds to yourself and guess what when you're happy the light will show it's gonna shine everybody gonna be like why are you so happy I, that that bothers me and I'm learning not to let that bother me and I'm doing so great but for somebody to say oh why are you so happy again they're projecting but I would rather somebody be around me happy and not fake happy because, you know, you could, I'm good at reading energy. So I know when people are putting on a show, you know, and being a regular, regular self, because you could be happy at work and then you could be like customer service happy, Hi. <laughs> right? But you could be regular, hey, how you doing? Oh my gosh, you know. People see your smile, they see your face, they, they know. And it's easy to read people, especially when they are putting on a show, because guess what? You're going to forget one day and just like drop those curtains and really be you. Um, find the balance of your crazy Find the balance of your angry. If you do get angry with something, sit down and talk it out. Even at the end of the night. Sometimes that is me. I will come home. And I don't necessarily even bring work home. You know. Mm -mm. But if I do, I'm going to digress and talk it out with spirit. Um, the most high. Say, have a whole meeting. Just be like, whew. and I also feel like you have to acknowledge your progress. So, for me, my attitude is I could say it was disgusting. And even at times, I'll have moments of that regurgitating because of the whole juicing thing, right? But even when you fast, things come up. I feel like, you know things come up and out not just literally like spit and mucus but things come up and out because now it's got space to move it's got to come out you got to clean it out so um acknowledge the growth so if you are the person who curses and you say you curse 100 times a day but you brought it down to 50 talk to your peoples and say listen i'm still cussing but it ain't 100 times it's 50 that's growth i i like that I'm okay with that. Some people are far-fetched with looking for perfection with something that they've been doing for eons. And then that's where you also stretch yourself out because you're like, oh, fuck, everybody else around me doing. But everybody else putting a show on. Just like, you can't see outside of this space. This is showtime right now. So, I'm only going to show you what I want. And most times... That is what people are doing when they their life looks so perfect. Um, we have more in common, meaning people, um, than we than we know we have. It seems like we are strangers, but oh, that's cilantro. <laughs> um. We have a lot more in common than we all think we don't. I keep realizing that in different circles, with conversations, uh, with people, and, um, you know, the world's messed it up to where you can't even be open so much because people use your words or a picture as a meme. And it's disgusting. That's disgusting. But I'm not the one to deal with that. 
I'm gonna show my earring because it keeps showing the back side of it. I want you to see that side, okay? I'm not the one to deal with the karma for that. Sometimes I still have reactions to it, but I be like, oh, right, let it go, let it go, let it go. And the practice of like boxing or karate, jujitsu, all of those things where you have to be like mathematical with or strategic with how you move because if you're breathing, well, I, I, I did um some amateur boxing for a good while. Um, it makes you really think in life about um, other things that you give energy to. Because if you think of a boxer, right, they will get winded if they throw all these air punches, obviously. It's a, it's a full body workout. And um, if you have done that before, not just watched it, then you definitely understand where I'm, where I'm coming from. Um, and I feel like it's the same thing with life. Like, is this person worth... <laughs> are you? Are they worth it? Mm. And then also, even if they are worth it, because some people need to catch these non-verb, you know. No, they need to catch the verbal hands. Not these hands. Some of them need it. You have to be strategic. Be strategic because some people just be itching, trying to get a, a reaction out of you. And I tell people this all the time. Stop allowing people to control. You did like, oh, well, you got me tight. And I'm the reason, like, it's because of you I'm getting all worked up. And I was like, you giving me all that control? You you giving me somebody who's a little old nobody. It's, a, it's such an oxymoron. I am nobody, but here you are still talking about me. And you are giving me all of your energy. That's why I don't understand the concept of giving shout outs to haters. Never would I ever, ever. I will acknowledge people's stupidity. Meaning like, I'll say something that's going to honor who I am. Like, you know, be a leader, don't be a follower type mean post. But you're not going to see me, yo, big up to my haters because of y'all I got here. What? If you had 24 hours to live, who know that song? If you had 24 hours to live, where would you go? What would you do? You mean to tell me you're going to waste one or five minutes talking about people who have no concern for you, people who you don't like, people you don't love? It doesn't add up because we know one plus one equals two. Mm -hmm. Two. It could all be so simple, but we rather make it hard. Um, so yeah, that's the note I want to wrap up on tonight because it has been on my soul to talk about that because I keep hearing people do it. And you know, when you're working on something or you're not doing something, everything stands out. So like, like right now I'm not eating and when I'm fasting on liquids, People's chewing get really loud to me. I can tell who people who are careless. I can just see so much. So back to this point, the harshness, because I'm working on that, I hear it everywhere, extremely loud. And I, you know, I don't like to interject to everybody and give me energy to even talk because some people don't want it. They'll be like, hmm, I don't give a fuck. So, no, that don't mean nothing. No, you, you, you extra with that. Okay, it just shows where they are um, in the space and time. And I let it go. Some people get all fired up about people not acknowledging them. I don't. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, all right, I was once there. But even then, I was still receptive to hearing people. I wasn't really like, you know, because I feel like everybody could be a different type of seed in your life where they could plan something and then God is using them. And then you just like, oh, you know, and then you go and pray be like, God, I ain't here X, Y, and Z. Well, be like, you said no to this person. You told this person, screw them, said F off to the other person. 
what, what did you think I was going to come as? This sky god that everybody keeps showing you that I look like? No. We are... expressions of the most high so why do you think there is some other figurine that's gonna show up when I you know answer your prayer or answer a request or desire not everybody's gonna make it if you've seen the matrix then you understand some people want to take that freaking blue pill they don't want to deal with anything so continue to work on yourself my voice just went away for two seconds. Continue to work on yourself and um, <clears throat> do better in all dimensions. And spread seeds over yourself every day. Water yourself. You are a growing garden who people can also come and pick a flower, mm, a plant from. Because we know plants can be repotted and start somewhere else. So pick a plant. And they too can grow. So be somebody's seed in their life. Be the light. Be the light. I don't know. It's not going to be an overnight thing. But you could do it. Put your back into it. You could do it. Put your back into it. All right. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Peace.